Well, my buddy Jack, he was going to be a big football star. Six foot four, full of muscles. He was the guy on the team that was like, put me in coach, I'm ready to play. Sports, man. <laughs> that was the only thing on Jack's mind. That is until he met Diane. She was just a small town girl living in a lonely world. Then, then she came here and she met up with the whole gang. Uh, let's see, it was, um, it was her and me and uh, Brenda and Eddie. They, they were still going steady at that point. And um, uh, let's see, my sister was there and uh, Christian. And uh, oh, there was Jack. They used to call Diane the debutante of the backseat of Jackie's car. Hmm? When we first got together, we made all these plans. I mean, we were the kids in America, together forever. We two were going to move to the city together, start a family. Jack was going to go to college on a football scholarship. You know, I, I thought someday I'd have a whole lot of money, you know, I'd, uh, I'd be a millionaire. So now I find myself in 82 at the Jackson Heights game, fourth quarter, Hail Mary for the win, and I blow out my knee. It was the end of my career. No, no, it was the end of the world as I knew it. And, you know, I feel fine, you know, now. The same week Jack blew out his knee, Diane found out she was pregnant. We all thought maybe this was a sign, you know, like a voice. Just like an angel sign. Uh, I, re I remember Diane telling me that being with Jack was like, uh, oh, was so poetic. It was like kissing Valentino by a crystal blue Italian stream. It seemed like the perfect timing. Football was done, the baby was on its way, and I was like, maybe? I mean, we danced around the subject. We were like a wave on the ocean. Romance, you know? But we had never seriously talked about it until... My football career was over, and Diane, she was gonna keep her baby. So, uh, you know, I guess it was time to settle down, make things right. I, uh... I felt like it was urgent, you know? Urgent! So, uh, right after graduation, Diane and I, we got married and moved into our own house. It was pretty small. But it was ours. It was our house, in the middle of our street. He found himself in a beautiful house, with a beautiful wife. But you know, every rose has its thorn. I just remember waking up one morning, thinking to myself, our love is in jeopardy. Baby, our love is in jeopardy. I could feel it coming in the air that night. He was cold as ice. It was like he was willing to, to sacrifice our love. Why are you so far away, she said. She said, Jack, don't you know I've got my mind set on you? But, you know what? The thing she didn't understand is that it was going to take money. You know what? It was going to take a whole lot of spending money. And... It was right about that time that Jack got fired from his job at the mattress store. For shoplifting. He got some odd jobs here and there, but it just wasn't the same. And I told him, Jack, if you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting. But time after time, it was just... It was like he was running against the wind. I mean, he was young and he was strong, but he was still running against the wind. <sighs> With a giant stolen mattress on his back. <coughs> it was like I was seeing double vision. <coughs> I, you know, I felt like I'd lost my wife's respect. I mean, clearly I wasn't taking care of TCB. You know. My friend Tommy, uh, he helped me out with a job for a while. Um, me and Tommy used to work on the docks. Uh, but then the union went on strike. Um, well, we were down our luck again, and, well... On top of losing his job, all Jack ever talked about were his glory days. And, you know, glory days will pass you by in the wink of a young girl's eye if you let them. And, I mean, Diane, she had to get a 9 to 5. And, pff, shoot, what a way to make a living, you know? Barely getting by. I was doing the laundry one day, and I found a matchbook in a shirt pocket. There was a number inside. Still remember it to this day. It said, Jenny, 8675309. Call me. Call me any. any time. Diane, she had me call the number for her. And the girl on the other line had the nerve to say to me, Hello, is it me you're looking for? Oh, never been so insulted. 
I guess he was just tempted by the fruit of another, as they say. Probably some little China girl. It was about all I could take. Was it love? Yeah. I say to myself, it must have been love. But it's over now. Maybe it was tainted love. But sometimes love don't feel like it should. And sometimes it just, it hurts. So, good lord, I feel like I'm dying. That was the point at which Diane filed for D-I-V-O-R-C-E. In June, Jack packed his bags and moved out of the little pink house for the very last time. And as Jack drove off in his truck, the little boy looked up at his mommy and with his eyes swelling with tears, he said, gone, daddy gone. Well, the love, the love was gone. You could turn that off now. <laughs> It was a cruel, cruel summer that year. I kept telling myself, don't stop believing, Jack. You gotta hold on to those feelings. I went to tell her, Diane, don't you forget about me. Don't dream it's over. Don't dream it's over. And then I ran, you know? I just ran so far away emotionally. But I couldn't get away. I could not get away. Eventually, eventually I just had to face reality that Jack and Diane were over. We both had a few tough years after that. We were young and after going from heartache to heartache, I did some things I didn't imagine doing as a little girl. It was late December, back in 87. Imagine my shock. Imagine my shock to find that my angel is a centerfold. My angel is a centerfold. Right around that same time, well, Diane, she uh, pulled out the old two. <clears throat> two of hearts. <clears throat> pulled out the old two of hearts. It was then that I found myself falling in love for the second time in my life. And believe it or not, I was walking on air. You know, I was walking on sunshine. Jesse was a mutual friend of ours. I know it must have been hard for Jack. <laughs> I used to consider Jesse to be my best friend. My best friend! You see, I was still in love with Diane. And now she's go. <laughs> now she was Jesse's girl? My best friend's girlfriend. She used to be mine. <coughs> was she really going out with him? We both reached a point in our lives where it was time to go forward, you know, move ahead. Me? You know, uh. I'd be lying if I said I was a happy man. Uh, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. But, you know, the truth is, the truth is life goes on. Yeah, I'd say life goes on. Long after the thrill of living is gone. What are you doing later, huh? I look good? Do I look like I'm 25 again?